Hi, I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Every Bit Helps. Today I'm going to be taking you through how to buy your first Bitcoin with Coinbase and Coinbase Pro. And I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit that subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. So for those of you who are new to Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, you might not be sure how to buy your Bitcoin or where and how to purchase it. Well, what I'm going to do today is show you exactly those steps using Coinbase. So Coinbase is one of the best and well-known exchanges where you can purchase with the likes of a debit or a credit card or via bank transfers from the UK. The other option is to buy from the likes of someone like Blockchain. Now, Blockchain obviously is also very well known and trusted. The other thing about Blockchain is that it is actually a true wallet because you have access to your private keys, which means that you also have full control over your crypto and your funds. Now, Coinbase are more aggressive in their promotion and they have incentives with offers of free crypto. For example, they have something called Coinbase Earn, where you do earn and you learn about different cryptocurrencies. So at the same time as you're building your knowledge about different cryptos, you can earn small amount of that crypto at the same time. Now, when you want to start buying your very first Bitcoin, the first thing you need to do is register for an account if you don't already have one. And Coinbase also have an incentive where that if you sign up and you buy or sell $100 of Bitcoin or more, what you'll do is you're going to earn $10 of free Bitcoin. And I'll put a link in the summary below so that you can use that if you wish. Now, once you've signed up to Coinbase, you're then presented with the dashboard. So the first thing you're presented with is your portfolio value. So in here, you can track how your portfolio is actually, you know, how well it's doing. So you can do that over certain periods of time, whether or not that be in a 24 hour period, in a week, in a month, a year, or across all of time. So it just gives you a snapshot of that portfolio value. You then have different um, specific coins, so you can actually look at specifically how Bitcoin is tracking Ethereum, XRP, etc, etc. You then have a link to the Coinbase Earn site, so like we discussed in terms of that building up your knowledge of cryptocurrencies. And we have your portfolio and recent activity. What I'm going to do now is quickly click on to where it says Bitcoin. And when we go into the Bitcoin information or the pricing for Bitcoin, it gives us an idea again of how Bitcoin is tracking through certain periods of time. We can also have a look of information in relation to Bitcoin. So it gives us a little bit of background about Bitcoin. We can also view any top stories that do relate to Bitcoin at the moment. Now, once you're ready to buy your first Bitcoin, you, there's two different ways that you can do this. So you can either click on trade in the top right hand corner here, or you can click on to add a payment method under the buy section next to Bitcoin. What I'm going to do is click on to trade. We're then presented with the buy option. So it states that we're almost ready to buy. What we now need to do is we need to complete our account. So we need to add a payment method. Because I'm from the UK, I have different options in terms of the accounts that I can add. So I have the ability to add a euro account. So with regards to a euro account, um, it's pretty good that you can obviously you can instantly buy and sell crypto with your euro account and it accepts steeper transactions. So if, for example, you have something like a Revolut card that gives you that euro um, bank account, you can use that in conjunction with Coinbase. And there are some also some kind of benefits in terms of withdrawing from euros later, which I'll explain. And then we have a UK bank account. So you can obviously this is very good for when you are investing large amounts of crypto and you can go through and you can verify your account, which I'll show you shortly. You then have the ability to purchase with a credit or debit card. So this is for smaller amounts because the reason why it says that it's for smaller amounts is it will depend on how far you've gone through the verification process with Coinbase to how much you can actually spend on your card per day. And you can also click onto the link here. And from here, if I just scroll down, it gives me an idea of what the different types of fees are that are associated with Coinbase. So it tells me what my different buy and sell transactions are, where, for example, I mean, I find this quite confusing if I'm completely honest. However, what I'll do is I will take us through the coins so you can see it, see it in a live environment. However, it states that if the total transaction amount is for more than $50, or less than or equal to $200, the fee is $2.99. But I'll show you in a real-time environment now. 
So the first way I'm going to show you is via a credit or debit card. So I'm going to click onto that link now. So now what it's asking me to do is fill in my billing address for my credit or debit card. So it asks me the issuing country. So obviously it's automatically picked up that I'm from the UK. So I don't need to go through and change that. And I then need to add in my billing address. So I'm just going to go away and do that now. So now what I need to do is put in the name of my card. So I obviously need to put that in exactly how it appears on my card. I put in my card number, the expiration date, CVC number, which is obviously the last three digits on the back of your card. And it should automatically pick up the postcode from your billing address and place that into the postcode section. So I'm just gonna put that information in now and then I'm gonna click on to add card. So once you've added in that information, you'll then be prompted with a little link that states that your card has been successfully linked. So once your card's been linked, you can then go ahead with your purchase of your Bitcoin. So we have um, the ability to buy from here so we can state which cryptocurrency we're buying. Now, because we're on this Bitcoin page at the moment, it automatically does pick up Bitcoin, but you do have the ability to buy Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic and Litecoin as well. But we're just going to specifically look at Bitcoin today. You then have the option to um, do different types of schedules. So at the moment, it will automatically come up with a one-time purchase. However, if you do want to schedule your purchases, you can do that daily, every week, the 1st and 15th of every month or every month. However, it will automatically pick up that one-time purchase, which is what we're doing today. It then to ask what we're going to be paying with. So it's picked up that card that I've now put in. So I can add another account at this point. However, I'm going to be using this card that I have in here. If you then click on to the amount, so in here we obviously need to put the amount that we're actually gonna be purchasing. So I'm gonna give you an example today of 100 pounds. So just to give you an idea of the fees that are associated with this purchase. Now, before we go through and we purchase this, we can do a preview of that purchase. So it gives us an idea. So we're gonna click onto that. Now in here, it's almost like a confirmation. So it tells us the, exactly the amount of Bitcoin that we're gonna be purchasing in Bitcoin. It tells us how we're, how we're paying for this purchase. It tells us the purchase price of Bitcoin at this time. It tells us the purchase amount. So that is the amount minus the Coinbase fee. So for hundred pounds, the Coinbase fee here is three pounds and 84 pence. So that is relatively high for a purchase of hundred pounds. Now there are other ways that I can show you how to decrease the amount of fees that you're actually paying. And that's via Coinbase Pro, which I'm gonna be showing you in the second half of this video. So what you would then do is click on to buy now. However, I'm gonna show you how to link up a UK bank account first of all. So let's just go back. So going from my dashboard, what I'm now gonna do is click onto the trade button, add a payment method, and the payment method that I'm now you're gonna be choosing is that UK bank account. So I'm gonna click onto that this time. And in here, you need to put in your UK bank account details. So first thing it's asking us for is that sort code. One thing to be aware of when you're putting in your UK bank account is the fact that you don't need to put the hyphens between the numbers. So in here, you will put, enter it as a six digit code. Now, what it states here is the fact that you do have to verify your bank account. So whenever you're doing or setting up your UK bank account for the first time and before Coinbase can use it, you will need to send a small transaction to verify that ownership of that account. So it's just an extra level of security, really. So what I'm going to do is click on to verify now. Then from here, what it's asking you to do is to verify your bank account. So what you need to do is you need to send across two pounds of GBB payment to the bank account that they've then specified here, which is a Barclays Bank because we're in the UK. So what you need to do is you need to ensure that you do use this reference number. The reason why you need to do that is so they know what transaction to look out for. So all you would simply do here is copy that reference number. Then you would send across your funds from your bank or you'd send across this two pound payment across to the recipient name and the sort code and the recipient's account number. Now, like I said, that reference number is really important. So do make sure that you add that in. Once you've done that, you can click on to done. And once that two pounds has been verified, you can then click onto accounts from your dashboard. And you'll then see that the two pounds is then appearing in your GBP wallet. 
Once that two pounds is then appearing, you can then obviously go ahead and deposit further funds into that account. So you'll be provided with a reference number again. So ensure that you have either copied that or you have written that number down and you need to click on the little tick button here and then click on to continue. And then it provides you with all the recipient details that you need to send from your bank account to this bank account. One thing to be aware of is when you do deposit into Coinbase, that you do will have to wait for five days before you can withdraw. So after you've transferred your GBP and it's received within Coinbase, you do have to wait that five days. So it's just something to be aware of and just make sure you use that reference number again. So once you've sent your funds across, it should then appear within your account. So if you go to accounts, and then if you have a look at your GBP wallet, you then have the 100 pounds that you've transferred across from your bank showing up in this wallet. So now what we can do is we can obviously buy our Bitcoin using this. So what we're gonna do is go to trade. And if we type in here 100, and it's asking us how we'd like to pay. So this time, instead of using the likes of your um, credit or debit card, you actually have the option for your GBP wallet. So we can obviously state here that we want to buy 100 pounds worth of Bitcoin. So obviously we're buying Bitcoin, we're paying with this GBP wallet because we've transferred our funds into here, and then we cannot preview our purchase. So in here, it's obviously again a confirmation. So it shows us the amount of Bitcoin that we're going to be purchasing in Bitcoin. It then states the price that we're buying at. It tells us that purchase price. It informs us of our Coinbase fee. So in this, it will be £2.99. And then it gives us our total so that obviously we're spending £100 and we're going to be receiving that amount in Bitcoin. Once we're ready to do so, we can then click on to buy now. Now, as you can see, these fees are actually quite high in terms of the percentage in relation to the amount that you're purchasing. Over time, if you are purchasing more and more kind of Bitcoin, these really do add up as well. So there is another way that you can actually reduce these fees when you're buying your Bitcoin. And that is by using something called Coinbase Pro. So just heading over to the Coinbase Pro site, so which is at pro.coinbase.com. Now, one of the great things about Coinbase Pro is the fact that when you do have a Coinbase account, you automatically have a login and you can use the same credentials for Coinbase Pro. And for those of you who were familiar with something called GDAX, so Coinbase Pro is the evolution of GDAX. So you'll see that the functionality and the kind of look and feel of it is very similar, um, but it's now been rebranded as Coinbase. So now that we're in our Coinbase account that we don't have to register for, what we need to do is we need to go to um, deposit some funds into here. So we can do that from Coinbase. And the way that we do that is if we click onto My Wallets and then click onto Deposit, and it then asks for our currency type. So we're going to be putting in a GBP or also on here as British pounds. And then we have the ability to transfer from a UK bank account. So just ensure that you do send across your funds using that reference number at the bottom there. Or we can use funds from our Coinbase account. So if I click on that in the right hand corner here, and then it will automatically bring across my GBP wallet. So it's got all the funds in there that I've got in there. I can click on to max or I can type in the amount that I'd like to transfer across. I'm going to click on to max here. And one of the things that to be aware of is the fact that with Coinbase, the wallet transfers are fast and they are free as well. So it's pretty handy. And then we're going to click on to deposit £100. And then it states that my transaction's on its way and then it should arrive within 10 seconds, which is pretty good. So I'm now just going to click on to dismiss. And if we then go to Coinbase in the top left hand corner here, it will take us to our trading screen. Now on this trading screen, you can see here that you have something called an order book. So on here, which are the red numbers, they are what everyone is selling their Bitcoin at. And then at the bottom here, we have everything that people are buying at in terms of those green numbers there. We also have candles here, so it gives us five minute bursts at a time, showing us the highs and lows in a specific period of time. And we can look at the different values of Bitcoin being bought and being sold. Okay, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on to buy. So in here, we need to ensure that we buy it. And there are two different types of um, orders that we can do. We can do a market order and we can do a limit order. And which one we actually select will depend on the associated fees 
to our buy order. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you those different fees now, which are over on the Coinbase Pro um, site. So in terms of the trading fees, it states here that when you place an order at the market price, which is using that market tab, that gets filled immediately, you consider a taker and will pay a fee between 0.05 and 0.25%. However, when you place an order that is not immediately matched by an existing order, that order is placed on the order book. If another customer places an order that matches yours, you will consider a maker and will pay a fee of between 0 and 0.15%. So what we need to do to get those lower fees is be a maker of the market. So what we need to do is we need to select a limit order. So going back to Coinbase Pro now, what we're gonna do is obviously marker will make us be a taker of the market. However, to be a maker of the market, we need to click onto limit because we're gonna define a price in here. So what we're gonna do is make sure that we've got limit, but what we need to do is we also need to just change our market or select a market from here. So this is what we're buying in. And there's lots of different fiat markets in here, Bitcoin to euros, et cetera, but we're gonna be selecting Bitcoin to GBP. So now that we have selected, we can then, obviously we've done our, um, we've done our market, we're clicking on buy, we're ensuring it's limit, and then we're gonna type in the amount of Bitcoin that we'd actually like to purchase. Now 0 0.11 equates to about 100 pounds at the moment, so that's the reason why I'm selecting that. Then I select an order from the book, and I define a price of how, how much I wanna pay for my Bitcoin. So it then shows me my fees. So I can see here that I'm only actually having to pay 15 pence, and that's because I am a maker of the market. Now, obviously you can change this. You can wait for a little bit longer for your orders to complete or for someone to match your order price. So it's up to you what price you do define in that limit price here. You also have the trade history, so you get an idea of what is currently being sold at the moment and the prices in there. So because those are, obviously the price does change quite a lot, I'm actually going to change this to uh, 9,130 and then click on to place order. Once your order has actually been filled, you'll then find that it goes from open orders and it goes into fills. So in here you can see my order. However, if I want to view further information with regards to this order, I can click onto my orders and go to filled. It then provides me with a further breakdown of my buy order. So it tells me what my filled price was. It shows me that 15 pence fee, tells me the date and information like that. Security practices say that you shouldn't really leave your funds on an exchange as you don't have access to your private keys, which gives you less control over your funds. So what I would recommend doing at this point is actually moving this across to the likes of maybe a hardware wallet, like a, a Ledger Nano S or a Trezor, or essentially you could also uh, post this across to an online wallet, such as the likes of blockchain, where you have access to your private keys. So just ensuring that this Bitcoin is just kept safely and securely somewhere. And what we'd need to do is actually withdraw that. So if you go to my wallets and then withdraw, then the currency type, obviously the currency that you currently have now is Bitcoin. And in here you would put in your destination address, the amount that you want to send across and you can withdraw your Bitcoin at this stage. Or you could pass it back across to Coinbase if you'd prefer to do that. So that completes how you buy your first Bitcoin with the likes of Coinbase or save yourself some transaction fees with Coinbase Pro. And I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a like. And if you'd like to see more tips, reviews and tutorials then please head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk or please hit subscribe. Thanks and I'll see you soon.